I usually avoid machines like this, I have to say, but the lady was picking up something else and bought this round. This is an AEG um, CX7 2 B360 little cordless vacuum cleaner. Um, There is zero suction on this thing at all. So today's job is to probably just clean the filter and see how well we can make this thing come up or if we're going to encounter any horrors along the way. It's either going to be a short video or a long video. At this precise second, I don't know. So let's get on with it and have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yeah, I normally try and avoid machines like this because they're just a bit rubbish, really, aren't they? Uh, this one especially, but it probably shouldn't be as rubbish as it is. Ooh, that's, that's an ominous sign. Crikey, look at that filter. Um, okay, well, here is the main machine. And it has some suction from there, but you know, the whole thing is pretty filthy, so that's fine. I think we should pull these clips in, and oh my goodness, oh, I mean, it's always something simple. Are you going to even come out? Yeah, oh my god, holy moly. I don't think this has ever been cleaned. I know that people normally say that you know i take the mick with my refurbs and i make things up but no the lady honestly dropped it off without really knowing why it was not working this is why i reckon they've just been emptying it <laughs> completely ignored the filter completely ignored the filter so the fact that it has literally started to implode itself oh, it fixes fairly simply with the victor which will clean up this mess and then clean the filter One bit done, look, just with a quick vacuum off. We'll do the bin, because why not? We'll do this top plate, because why not? Literally fixing this just by doing this. Now, <laughs> makes it worse. Look how well this is coming up. Look how well that came up. I've seen Dysons do that. They get so clogged so quickly that the dirt doesn't have time to penetrate into the fabric of the filter. It literally just clogs itself up. <sighs> This was a quick refurb, although I have actually realised I don't... Are you going to go back in? I presume this is... <laughs> didn't fully look to see which way that went in. Yep, yeah, that's in there. This... Well, it's still fluff. Packed in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look. Look how tight that was puffed. That was a bit of plastic then. No, that is fluff. That is a how uh, this machine's probably never had its filter washed, and that that upsets me greatly. As much as it's a hateful machine, I mean, there's no excuse for that. I bet now. Yep, yeah, and yeah. look at that. That was all. That took. I mean, I, I don't even think I really need to wash the filter. I just need, it just needed the vacuum off. So all that's gone straight onto the shroud. 
and then yeah made the filter grayer than it was so it's obviously a pretty terrible machine for keeping itself clean but oh, not that bad at all let's give it final clean and a good wipe down damp microfiber and some spray and another vacuum and look we can actually see the filter now couldn't see that before that's probably a huge clue so this simple i presume it's simple what goes on the end of there because there's contacts and as much as i could google the model number hey you lot probably have one before i'd like to hear your opinions over the review when it was new but it seems quite a basic review i mean it, it's got all right suction now 25 volts a yeah no sorry 18 volts 25 volt input 18 volt output so yeah it's a pretty easy machine but Seems to have a bit less suction than my Makita 12 volt job does, so probably older tech just still being sold. Obviously, AEG nowadays is sadly just a name that's printed on stuff. I mean, as you can see, designed in Sweden, made in China. Oh, there isn't there Electrolux name there? Electrolux must still be the parent company, but yeah, Electrolux don't brand cleaners now. They brand them as AEG, and oh, it breaks my heart to think of all the high-end, lovely early 90s AEG machines that we've had, and now all you can really get are these. How tragic. But hey, I think I'll earn 20 quid by just cleaning that filter out and showing you all this. So tell me, what's the worst clogged up cordless machine you've ever had? You ever had one this bad? The filter's obviously never been cleaned. Because if it has, that filter wouldn't be so white. It would be stained through getting dust on it, dust cleaned off, dust on it, dust cleaned off. This just formed a protective cocoon. And the dust never really got as far as the filter in the first place. So it probably worked in our favour this time. So a nice simple job today. Shame they're not all like this. This can go back to its owner. And I can say to you, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I and some other tragic, horrible, cordless machine will probably see you soon. Bye bye.